Okay, activity 5, Google Calendar. Group task. You make the de decision to design a calendar only for the purpose of scheduling parent-teacher association orientation meetings. Number 1. In Google Calendar, create a new calendar called PTA meetings. Number 2. Set up 9 o'clock to 9.30 a.m. calendar event called General PTA Meeting. Number 3. Repeat every 3 months starting September 24. Number 4. Add a Google Meet video conferencing. Number 5. Set to notification. An email one day before and 20 minutes before the event. Number 6. Add an attachment, attendance link. And number 7. Send an invitation to your group and to sherwin.lameda at gmail.com. Okay, so what we're going to do is to go to Google Calendar. Okay, so how to do that? Okay, so all you need to do is access this easily just type your url calendar.google.com once your account is open so it will automatically direct you to the google calendar okay so the first thing that you need to do is to create a new calendar so what's the best thing about google calendar is you can create as many calendar as you want depends upon the meeting or engagement that you're going to do okay, just like this one i have a calendar for sherwin mapagampon calendar microsoft calendar oer calendar reminders and tasks so how to create a new calendar inside the calendar so all you need to do is to click the plus okay icon and then create new calendar so the name of the calendar is okay, PTA Meetings. PTA Meetings. Okay. So no need to write description because it is already clear that you're, you need to create a new calendar. And then we're going to set up 9 to 9.30 calendar event called General, General PTA Meeting starting September 24. Okay. So let's create a calendar. Then, okay, so configure, just click the back arrow. Okay, so here, we, here is the PTA meetings. Okay, so let's go to September 24. So this is September 24. Just click the white area. Okay, so we're going to create general meeting. PTA meeting, general PTA meeting. Okay, so that is 9 to 9.30 a.m. So we have here the time, 9 to 9.30 a.m. Add time, 9 o'clock a.m. 9 o'clock a.m. So the 9, and then... 9.30 okay, 9 to 9.30 Okay, then we're going to repeat it every 3 months Repeat every 3 months So, we have here do not repeat So, every 3 months So, we can do the customization and Click custom Okay, so we're going to repeat it every 3 months So, let's click 3 and then change this to months. Okay, so I mean to say every 24 of the month, every three months it will change. And send. Next one is add a Google Meet video conferencing. So just click add Google Meet. Okay, that's it. Next is set to notification an email one day before and 20 minutes before the event. Okay, so we have here the notification. Okay. Just click more option. Okay, and then click add notification. And then let's change this into okay, 
Uh-huh. One day before. One day before. Okay. Email one day before. So change this to email. Okay. Then one day. Change to one. Then change to day. And another one. Let's add another notification. And that is 20 minutes before the event. Okay, so add the notification 20 minutes before the event. Okay, so next is add an attachment attendance link. So if you have already the attendance link on your Google uh, Google uh, Drive, all you need to do is to click this icon, add attachment. Okay, click at add attach attachment then locate the attendance okay attendance form okay so or you can also search attendance okay so example i have here this attendance sample or you can also click my drive and search the attendance okay and then search okay so example here, here is the form for the attendance click and then select okay next is send an invitation to your group so how to send an invitation you have here the add guests you can add those names or emails of your group members just add it and add it also at sherwin at dot lumed at gmail.com. So example. Okay, so this is my Gmail and then add all your members. Okay, and after that, okay, so there's no need to change anything. All you need to do is to repeat again the process, calendar, new ETA meeting set up 9 to 9.30, check. Repeat every three months, check. Add Google Meet, check. Two notification, one email, one day before, 20 minutes before the event. Add attachment and then send an invitation. Then let's click save. Okay, and then click send. Okay, so that is the start, September 24. Let's check three months. Then October, November, and December. Okay, we have here after three months, it will send. So what's, what's the best thing about Google Calendar is uh, once you create this uh, schedule, the calendar will automatically send the, the meeting, the appointment that you created. Okay, so this is auto-send to your email. Okay, next one, January, February, March. Okay, then April, May, June. Okay, so that's it. So that is how to use... Uh, uh, Google Calendar, create a new calendar inside the calendar, the specific meeting, appointment, or exclusive uh, example. Uh, you are the department head, schedule for the department head, a calendar for a uh, master teacher, a calendar for meeting, or PTA meeting, a meeting for those uh, uh, coordinators. So that's the use of Google Calendar. Okay.